fans of high quality entertainment. Welcome to part two. If you haven't seen part one yet, go watch that first and then come back and watch this part. That's how parts work. Part one, part two, <laughs> maybe part three. Anyway, uh, at the end of my last video, I took my CD shelf down. I still have to put, take that one down. No, I don't. That's right, I can actually, I can have, yeah, I was thinking, it's only one shelf. I don't have to take that one down, too. What do I know? Uh, but what I've done so far is I'm starting to think, yes, I'm starting to think, it's something new. I'm starting to think that putting this together isn't going to be as difficult as I was dreading. So, where I am now is... So th this is the, um, the bottom of the rack and there's these two parts and when you snap them together just make sure the up, which is upside, upside down right now because I'm holding it upside down, <laughs> is uh, in the right spot there. And so I'm just not sure how many of these, you know, how the shelving unit is going to be. How many shelves and everything? It's there might be some math involved and drinking. So I'll come back, <laughs> hopefully, <laughs> and this will be partially assembled. Maybe I'll have the I'll have the first rack on at the bottom, and you'll be really impressed with me. <laughs> so there's the uh, I didn't realize how it goes like that, right? And the rack just snugs there, and that's at the bottom. And that's it. Make sure, and I'm making sure I'm putting it on the right way, I believe. You know, the back, back of the rack would have a little bit of a... You know, to stop the... I think that's the way it would go. There's no picture or anything. I'm frustrated already. I'm getting mad. Boy, that guy doesn't have many CDs. So, A, C, A. Okay, so A, yeah, it looks like it would make sense that the, the backing would go on the back. It looks like that's where it is. It's just I start getting paranoid. Am I doing this right? <laughs> yeah. So, so far, that's what I've done. Now, if I only had like 20 CDs, I'd be done. <laughs> and it, it is tall. So I'm going to have to remove the pictures of my, my two boys. <laughs> Looks good so far. So what I do is, uh, you'll see these, you see these notches here, right? And every so often you get these two lines. That's where you would uh, put these. So the double notch is there. So you move it up. It's so easy. I could almost say it's easy, easy. So there it says top, right? One thing I will say about myself that's actually good <laughs> is, uh, no, I, uh, I'm patient. I'm a patient guy. And when I actually know something, I like teaching and yelling at the person when, when they do things wrong. It's fun. So I'll make sure the other one is top. Now the, the only thing, this is going to be pretty, pretty easy, I think. Easy, easy to put together. The, the thing I'm concerned about is that empty box. Molly was saying it, it could have been just, you know, so the package isn't 
bumping around inside. I never thought of that. But I'm just hoping I've got enough of these. See, so just click it in. There. But you know what? <laughs> you make sure you put the, the next rack on first before you put the next level on. I was just showing you, okay, how to put those on. Take that back off. So the next rack is ready to be put on, hopefully. So there's the next rack, and then you just have to... You don't actually. It's on there solid. I think. <laughs> Look at that, it's even not lopsided so far. So, my, uh, the DVDs are the highest of the, of the, uh, so there you go right there. Look at that. And there's room. So I'd have my DVDs at the bottom and from up there, the CDs. So we find the next, I don't know if, I don't think it matters if it's that double, does it? Because, I don't know. Just making sure they're all on the right notch. And yeah. You now for CDs, there's going to be lots of space. So I think after that, although. See, I don't know how far to, to space them, because uh, it's like I have to think. <laughs> Top. Notch there. Maybe these notches. Like I said, these double notches, maybe it doesn't matter. be enough room for even the... Let's try the... I got this Procol Harum CD. It's very tall. Same with this Pearl Jam CD. Make sure those are in. Yeah, there would be so lots of room for them like that. Yeah. Yeah, and there'd be room for them. That's good. That was my issue with, you know, I really did like the rack that was here. 
except some of the taller CDs would not fit. Hi there, Larry Graves, professional shelf assembler. I'm almost done. It actually, it actually was easier than I thought it would be. <laughs> Always measure. I don't know why, but that's what my dad always told me. Although there are some things you don't want to measure because you're going to be really depressed. There, there's so, so much uh, shelving space now. I've got to buy more CDs and DVDs and Blu-rays. I like, I think uh, part one is where I was unboxing it. That's a longer video than me putting it together, although I didn't film myself for like the last half hour doing this because it wasn't high quality entertainment. Yeah, so that empty box had me pretty concerned. <laughs> if you saw part one, you should have seen part one before part two. But, you know, I opened it and there was a lot of air in it. Now the only thing is that I don't like at the moment is it's at the, uh, it's where the thermostat is. So, and then, the, the CD shelving is very important to my channel. My fans expect great CD shelving. <laughs> So, and there's extras too, and there's a couple of extra shelves. Uh, so I, I could have maybe put them a bit closer together, but like a regular CD, yeah, that's fine. And there's, you know, like I said, for the, for the taller CDs. If you were listening, I need a haircut, but uh, in case you don't know, in Ontario, uh, for the next few weeks, it's a stay-at-home order, of course, unless you're working or you have to get groceries or whatever, so no haircut for me. That's why, that's why I usually grease back my hair. my new look. Anyway, yeah. What, what I'm happy about is, hopefully, I'll be able to have all of my CDs together. Like, you know, because before I couldn't fit them all in that CD shelf. And then I'll have my movies here too, and I'll just have maybe two extra shelves for whatever. That was a lot of work. It was a lot of work. And I'm, I'm, actually, I'm actually shocked that it was pretty simple to put together. Because like I said, as soon as you see instructions for something, and I'm just not the handyman type. So, my next video, you'll Hopefully see, hopefully, unless it's falling down. That's the other thing I have to do. I still have to brace it. And I can put sections in. Yeah, it comes with uh, 
about a dozen of these to separate the CDs. I don't even know if I'll need to use them or not. And also, to secure the rack to the wall, you have this. Best of luck with me doing this. I'll have to get out my power drill, which I haven't used in 10 years. <laughs> so, thanks for watching everybody, and uh, anybody that watched both parts, I'm so, so sorry that you did. Yeah. Uh, my apologies. <laughs>